I got some mistakes audio video production here at the NAMM Show 2024 at the booth of Driftwood Amplifier with Mark in person because you know you are releasing a new pedal and yes. it's called Heavy Hatchet, right? Exactly, exactly. So we have we have a new distortion pedal came out uh, on the 14th of February, so Valentine's Day. Okay. So, girls out there, if you have a friend who plays guitar, have a look. So basically it's like three pedals in one. So we have a boost side, regular boost, two modes. How many, how many dBs of boost? Oh, it's like 24 dBs. So like when you crank it, it's, it's a lot, yeah. Then two voicings, vintage and modern. Modern right. is a bit more like pick attack. Yes. Vintage is more round in the highs. Okay. And then we have uh, like the normal gain and volume controls. Active three band EQ, high low gain settings. Yes. And we added the rumble and the sharp controls that you can find in our amps, you can yes. find in our two preamp pedal. So you basically have like a five band EQ. Yes. Uh, we, we, also, have a gate. we also added the gate because this handy. So if you of need course. it, you can try. Distortion pedal, you, you need a gate. Normally you need a gate, so it's just built in. Yes. Uh, and then we have a feature, and we call it the preamp and distortion switch. So you can decide if you go the preamp? directly into a power amp or something, then you set it to preamp, or if you go in front of your amp, like in a clean channel, then you set it to distortion. It, it changes a bit, like the high frequency response. Yes, because so. normally when you use a preamp in front of the amplifier, so already into a preamp, yeah. it will sound too bright, yeah, in my exactly. opinion. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, so with this switch, it will be really, really cool to use it. Exactly. Then we have, at the side, we have also like an external control. Okay. So you can switch both functions, like from a MIDI switcher, okay. or from an external foot switch, Great. whatever. So just, just to have the option so about, about that. So about this switch, we have the overall bypass, and we can engage or not the boost side. Exactly, okay. exactly. So, and, um, this will be, as I said, came out on the 14th of February, so... Pretty soon. <laughs> very soon. And uh, we have something like, like a newer technology, what no one else has do till now. We have like increased headroom from gain stage to gain stage. Okay. To keep it not, not feeling like a normal distortion pedal to keep it like feeling like you're playing a real amp, a real, real, amplifier. Like, real amplifier, to have those headroom from gain stage to gain stage that remains all the clarity and, and all the dynamics. Great, so, and it works at nine volts. It regular. works at nine volts. Inside, we boosted it a bit. Okay, so, okay. as usual. As usual, yeah, okay. we do. But with our all stuff, pedal yes. stuff. Yes, and we can see also wonderful amplifier on the background. Darkest mini purple nightmare, which is in my studio always, of course. Yes, <laughs> and the, and the signature. The signature. The, and this is with also impulse responses, right? Uh, no, 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 no. The, um, this one is, is this one darkest. The darkest is with impulse response, and this one is like our a bit more British touch on the purple nightmare. Okay, so inside there are the EL34. Yes. Okay. Yes, EL34s, a bit more upper mid range. A bit more crunch okay. than the purple nightmare. I love also the, the gold. Yes, the gold. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. So you see how it should sound. So yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> Just looking. Exactly. Okay, Mark. Thank you so much for your time. Really Thank appreciate you, it. Guys, you have the link in the description if you want to know more about Driftwood amplification. As always, see you in the next video. Bye.